I know it might be a little bit alarming, you know, to title my video this way, but it's the truth. The reality is that if I'm being honest with myself, I am not okay. So many amazing things are beginning to happen. And the reality is that my heart, my spirit, um, my physical wellness, I'm not okay. I don't think that I'm in a strong enough place in some of those or all of those areas to be able to properly handle what I see like a little sneak peek of what God has for me beginning this year um and I think that the wisdom in me wants to say that it's better off to say that before you melt down or you hit rock bottom and I know I know I know this is sounding really dramatic and that wasn't the intention of this video to be really dramatic um but I just want to put it out there that I think it's important for me to acknowledge that I'm not in as strong of a place as I'd like to be for the things that I feel like are ahead. So I want to do something about that. Instead of letting the days go by and not addressing what I know needs to be addressed, I need to take care of this. Homeschool is going so well. Business is really looking up. Um, I can see the doors and um, opening and opportunities um, that God is sending my way and I want to be able to handle them well. I don't want to be completely spent and exhausted um, every day. So the reality is that your girl needs like a wellness check. <laughs> so um, I'm starting this little wellness journey. I got some things in place and I'm going to take it one day at a time. My goal is to have more energy, um, to have clear skin and a clear mind more than anything else. That is what I'm going for. And I know you can hear the kids in the background because this is my life. <laughs> I'm surrounded by them. But um, more than anything, I want to show the kids that if there's something that you feel like you're deficient in, don't keep going in that deficiency. Like, do what you need to do to get better. Yeah, so that is what this is about. This is going to be the beginning of my wellness journey. I know I've kind of sort of done a video on my vlog channel before um, saying that I was going to start like a weight loss journey. But you guys, you fail, you try again, right? I'm going to show you guys uh, all the things that I kind of got to jumpstart my um, mind and my spirit and get myself ready for this little journey that I'm taking one day at a time. Um, the goal is to lose weight because I'm at my heaviest that I've ever been. Um, I'm heavier than I was when I was nine months pregnant with any of my children. Um, so the goal is to lose weight, but I think that's just going to be a result of all the other work that I plan on doing. I want to get in regular exercise, um, eat properly. I'm that type of girl that eats like a huge meal at the end of the night or grabs anything they can so they can keep going I know a lot of us moms do that but I want to be a lot more intentional about feeding my body feeding my soul and my spirit I don't have any proper plans the goal is just to check in um, I don't know if I'm gonna check in weekly or or every two weeks or every month I'm not sure yet we'll see how it goes the only thing that I just want to make sure that I'm consistent with is documenting this journey and not stopping so that is the goal. Even if it gets ugly, <laughs> I don't want to stop. I was actually watching a video from Ashley um, from Grace and Grit here on YouTube. She's another homeschooling mama. If you don't already follow her, you should be. Um, but my girl did a good video. Like this video was so good and it really motivated me. And I don't get motivated um, too easily. Um, but when I feel like I am hearing sound advice and wisdom that really um, motivates me. Somebody asked about starting and where to start. And two of the key things I think she said was one concerning exercise, find something that you like to do. And then when it concerns eating, um, she said to identify uh, what your problem is. Those two things I kind of I think I have a good starting point. Um, my biggest problem 
when it comes to eating is that I don't eat on a consistent or a regular schedule. I get up and the first thing I'm thinking about is my to-do list, things that I need to get done. I often miss breakfast, I often miss lunch, and so that leaves me at a very bad place for picking anything up. And then as far as my spirit, which is my number one goal, is just making sure that I'm getting in that time with the Lord. What it actually looks like, whether it be 15 minutes in the morning um, with my Bible or 15 minutes worshiping in the middle of the day. Um, I'm not sure that I need it to be anything in particular. It just needs to be something every single day, um, intentional time. And I talk to the Lord all throughout the day. Um, that is, I'm not lacking in that area, but just being a bit more intentional about the quiet time that I spend with God is important. And I think it's necessary for where he has me going. So those are kind of my starting points. I That was a very, 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 very short, not doing it any justice summary of Ashley's video. Um, so like I said, I'm going to leave that in the description box below. But this is where I am starting and I'm excited. Um, I plan on making these videos, talking about exercise, um, talking about what I am learning um, in the word, talking about things that I'm doing for self-care, talking about foods that I'm learning to cook because I'm such a, a learner. <laughs> I really am. Um, and I do want to learn how to make certain foods, homemade um, almond yogurt and almond milk. And, you know, I, I'm not saying that I'm going to do it on a consistent basis, but I love to know how to do those things. And so I think that's going to be part of this wellness journey as well. So I hope you guys are looking forward to following along. I know I am. I am looking forward to starting and not stopping. So, yeah. Now, about pictures. I know that we all love a good before and after photo, um, and I'm gonna take plenty because I think it's important to document those things. So I'm gonna take plenty of pictures of my body and my skin and um, just recording how I'm feeling and my hair and things like that. I don't know as far as like before and after pictures or anything, even though I don't even think it's because I am a little bigger than I'm used to. Even if I was super fit, I don't know that I would post a picture of myself in a bathing suit on the interwebs. <laughs> I barely even wear a bathing suit out on the beach. I don't even think it has to do with confidence. I guess I'm just like, I don't know. I can be a little old lady about that. 